Nine fraternity members at Ohio University have been charged in connection with the death of a student from Central Ohio. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 7. I'm Colleen Marshall. It's been just over one year since Colin Wyant was found dead. Wyant, from Dublin, died last year at a house used for Sigma Pi activities. Wyant was a pledge. A toxicology report shows Wyant died of asphyxiation due to nitrous oxide. Of the nine charged, Eight were OU students at some time, but only two are currently enrolled. Danielle Levitable sat down with Wyant's parents late today. She joins us now with what they had to say after these charges were filed today. Danielle? And Colleen, they tell me this is a step to bringing them justice. However, as for closure, they don't think they will ever get that because they said a piece of their life is forever missing. When Kathleen and Wade Wyant first heard of the nine people facing charges for their son's death, they told me they were overwhelmed with emotion. This announcement comes a year after their son Colin died at Ohio University while pledging at Sigma Pi. His mother says he initially had no interest in joining a fraternity, but then decided to rush. And even before he went off to college, she says she spoke to him about hazing and the dangers of it. Now they're hoping that other students will take hazing seriously. I think to the college students that this sends a message regarding the magnitude of this and the consequences and how seriously this has been taken. Um, so hopefully it will deter them from even stepping into the small acts of hazing. And the family tells me they are still hoping for change from other fraternities and colleges. What they're doing to try to get transparency for other families. I'm working on that story for you all new tonight at 11 on NBC4. Local for you, Danielle Vittable, NBC4. Thank you, Danielle. And to read the list of everyone who's facing charges and what those charges might be, head to our website, NBC4I.com.